or SARS, infected more than 8,000 people around the globe. Now, what's surprising about the MERS outbreak here in Korea is how fast the virus is spreading. Now to another grim milestone, the world surpassing one million deaths from the coronavirus. Despite humanity's long history with pandemics, 2019 saw the emergence of a new one that spread around the world at lightning speed, crippling economies and livelihoods. The COVID-19 virus brought about many new challenges and hardship. Nature is also struggling. We saw videos of animals roaming streets left empty by humans and returning to places they previously disappeared from. It was easy to conclude that in our struggle with COVID-19, at least nature was getting a break from human activity. A closer look, however, reveals a very different picture. Nature did not get a break during the COVID-19 pandemic. Instead, some conservation areas and efforts suffered. In some countries, the migration of people from urban to rural areas and the lack of enforcement of conservation regulations resulted in more deforestation and other pressures on nature. And restrictions on international travel led to a dramatic decline in ecotourism, a significant source of funding that many conservation NGOs depend on. Although some governments have committed to a green recovery, some countries reduced or rolled back environmental protections and social safeguards during the pandemic or cut budgets for conservation efforts. Weakening nature conservation efforts could cause the further loss of intact ecosystems. NGOs play a huge role in protecting nature, but the combination of these impacts has reduced the scale and effectiveness of their conservation efforts when the pandemic started to take its toll. In Vietnam, Save Vietnam's wildlife's funding has been impacted due to loss of income from its volunteer program and reduced support from multi-stakeholder partnerships. This impedes their ability to carry out enforcement efforts on deforestation, illegal wildlife trade, and poaching. When protected areas are left unguarded, wildlife poaching and deforestation are heightened, worsening the decline and extinction of vulnerable species. Habitat destruction has adverse effects on both biodiversity and humanity. Pandemics often begin at the forest edge, where viruses can jump from wildlife into people. So when wildlife officials have difficulty getting into the field because of the pandemic, increased illegal logging, increased wildlife trade, go on the uptick. Activities that bring people into direct contact with animals that may be hosts of virus diseases that can jump to people. This does not mean that wildlife and biodiversity are bad for people. Actually, the opposite is true. Biodiversity has been shown to be generally protective against the emergence of new infectious diseases. People need nature to survive, and better management of the natural world will actually make us healthier. If we were to reduce the destruction of forests and wildlife trade that is unsafe, we would be reducing our interactions with wildlife and these new viruses, therefore minimizing the chances of a future pandemic. Protecting biodiversity is critical to having a sustainable future and there are things that can be done. As we rebuild our economies, there is a great opportunity to do so in a way that values nature. Governments must pledge to maintain and increase conservation efforts in the world's protected areas and follow nature-forward policies, which some countries have adopted that would benefit both our biodiversity and society. Funding conservation and supporting multi-stakeholder partnerships with NGOs ensures that groups such as Save Vietnam's Wildlife are able to continually support management of protected areas and carry out enforcement efficiently. Companies also play a huge role in the protection and restoration of nature to stem biodiversity loss. They can do this by transforming their supply and sourcing practices to be more sustainable and by investing in nature. When business leaders take such actions, they signal to their employees, customers and investors their commitment to protecting nature and help accelerate the change to a sustainable future. Such meaningful actions would be instrumental in minimizing the risk of future pandemics 
and allow us to continue leveraging on the benefits of ecosystem services that protects our livelihoods. Join us to discover the value and wonders of biodiversity.